Hi everyone, this is Bobby Keith of WorkWithBobbyKeith.com, bringing you an updated version of how to host your GoDaddy.com domain or domains on HostGator. I really recommend HostGator. I've had them for a number of years now and they've been fantastic. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Uh, if you need any discounts, I have a coupon for $9.94 off or another coupon for 25% off your order, whichever is greater, whichever you prefer, for HostGator hosting. So please check that out in the description. Uh, I'll also be walking you through how to install HostGator, uh, WordPress, if you are using a WordPress blog or bringing a WordPress blog over to HostGator. So uh, if you want to stick around for that part of the video, uh, it's at the end and I just walk you through it very briefly. So let's go ahead and get started right now. The uh, first thing you want to do is go to your GoDaddy.com homepage and just click sign in. Once you're signed in, uh, you're going to hit this, dom this plus sign next to domains. And that's going to allow you to see some options for your different domain names. Now, pick the domain name that you're uh, interested in transferring. If you have multiple, uh, you're going to have to do this multiple times for each one. But you go ahead and just hit Manage DNS. And that will give you a screen that looks something like this. So once you're on here, you want to look for this Name Servers column right here. And you can hit Manage. That will bring up this box right here, where you're going to want to click it from Standard to custom. Once it's on custom, it's going to give you this option to enter custom name servers. You just want to click right here. Now this is going to give you the option to add uh, your HostGator name servers. Now HostGator provides this initially in your first email you get from them. Now uh, you'll see here I copied it and they give you these two columns, first name server and second. You can copy and paste it right here. If you lost this email for some reason or you can't find it, I'll show you another place you can find it a little bit further down in the video. So just keep watching, then come back to this part, part once you find them and do the same thing. You just copy and paste into these two boxes. Once they're in there, you can go ahead and click OK. And then you can go ahead and click Save. And that should give you this little notification, let you know that GoDaddy is working on updating your name servers. This can take up to 24 hours. I've heard people saying, uh, however, in my experience, it's usually less than an hour. The last time I did it, it took about 15 seconds, so they definitely seem like they are getting better. But just be patient if it doesn't happen right away. So, uh, you're pretty much done at this point if you're only transferring a single domain, and that was the domain that you used for your HostGator hosting package, if you have already bought it. Uh, if you haven't bought a HostGator hosting package, I do recommend that you take their second tier up. Uh, plan and the reason this being is because their very bottom plan doesn't allow you to have more than one domain and if you're getting new to building websites or internet marketing or something like that uh, you'll probably find that your ideas are going to grow as you work on websites and you get more comfortable and they're going to want to purchase more domain names and I speak from experience and the experience of others in this matter so uh, let's continue so if you do have multiple domain, domain names or you didn't have your name servers from that email, then just keep watching. And then, so you're going to want to go to your HostGator homepage and go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to hit this hosting tab. And then you're going to click down here, it says add on domains. Now, add on, uh, just to clarify, just means again, whenever you initially signed up for your hosting package, you probably associated a single domain name with it. If you have more than one, those are called add-on domains. Uh, once those add-on, uh, we click that add-on domain link, you're going to show this screen. Now this is called your HostGator control panel or C panel for short. And you can go ahead and put in, you're going to want to put in this information. I've pre-filled it out uh, to give you an idea of what it looked like, but you, this is going to be blank whenever you see it. So the first uh, row right here, you just want to put your domain name leave the www out. So if it's www.yourawesomewebsite.com, just put yourawesomewebsite.com. The second row right here is going to be your username. And you're going to want to make this something memorable uh, because if you access your cPanel again through your domain, which is how I do it, how I prefer to do it, uh, you're, going to want to, you're going to need to remember that username. So you, that's the username that you're going to remember. And then you can leave this right here the way it is. You don't need to change that. And then you can enter your password and go ahead and click add. 
Uh, once it's added, it's going to appear down here uh, with some of your information. And you're pretty much uh, ready to go at that point. And you can install whatever programs you wish. Uh, if it's WordPress, you can install WordPress, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. Uh, if you are still looking for your name service from the previous step, just stay posted. I'm going to show you how to do that next. So you're going to go ahead and click Home. And this is if you're installing WordPress or you're looking for those name servers. And this will take you to your cPanel home page. So I highlighted this little bar here. You just want to scroll to the bottom of the page. And this will take you to a, a section called Account Information. And here are your uh, name servers that we originally had in that email, but if you had lost, you can get them here again. So you can go ahead, uh, copy these, uh, go back to that previous step in the video where I showed you how to get to your name server settings in GoDaddy and enter those in. For those of you who are sticking around for WordPress, uh, this is my very next thing we're going to cover. Uh, you're going to stick on the cPanel page and find this little module right here called Quick Install and just go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, it's going to bring up this page right here, and you're going to make sure you're on the one click installs page and go ahead and click WordPress. Once this page loads, you want to go ahead and click install WordPress, and that'll give you this nice little drop down box right here where you can set up what domain name you want to set up WordPress on. So just go ahead and click that drop down box, uh, choose your domain name. So for the example, I'm using workwithbarbecue.com. And then you can fill out the rest of this information. This column right here, you can just leave blank. Um, chances are, if you need to change that for any reason, you'll probably know ahead of time. It's usually if you're trying to set up like a sub portion of your website with a separate WordPress install, you can, you can add a prefix on it. But again, we won't worry about that today because most people, including myself, uh, don't really mess with that too much. So. Then go ahead and fill out what email address you want to use, the name of your blog, uh, what your administrative uh, name is going to be, and your name itself. And then you can go ahead and click install WordPress. And at that point, you're pretty much done. Uh, you'll probably see this pop up. They're trying to sell you WordPress themes. Uh, you can look through them if you really want to. However, there are a lot of sources for WordPress themes online. If you have any questions. Uh, I'll probably make some further videos on that. I've had some past ones, but uh, they're a couple years old, so I decided to take them down. Uh, but if you have any questions, just email me at bobby at workwithbobbykeefe.com, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. So we're going to hit no thank you. Then we're going to go ahead and click my installs. Now this is going to show you your WordPress installation. Uh, you can go ahead and uninstall it if you ever have to. For some reason, you can change your password. You can also hit this admin login and that'll take you to your new WordPress site. Now you can also click this drop down up here and that's going to give you all your information. Now that probably going to want to save this because you'll need it uh, for certain at a later time. And that's going to give you the URL for your website. Now I blanked mine out, but say we used yourawesomewebsite.com. It's going to always be yourawesomewebsite.com forward slash WP dash admin. Uh, don't bother remembering that because it's, it's going to be right here. And then it's going to give you your username and password, which you're going to want to remember. So now you're ready to go. So now you can just go to the link it gives you here. You can click this one, whichever you prefer. That'll take you to your WordPress site. You can use your username and password they give you right here. And you'll be in WordPress in no time. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Again, if you are purchasing HostGator hosting, please use my coupons in the description. That gets you $9.94 off or 25%, whichever you prefer. There's two coupons. You can only use one, unfortunately, um, but they're pretty good coupons. If there's any specials running, I'll put them in the description. Sometimes they have some uh, extra discounts. I'll put those coupons in the description while those discounts are running. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, check out workwithbobbykeith.com. Enter your email address in. Right now the site is under construction. Again, I'm working on some other projects, but if you subscribe to that email list, I'll be able to send you updates and you'll be notified when the site is back up, as well as get some extra tips on building your website, uh, internet marketing and such. So have a good one, guys, and thanks for checking me out.